In this brief screencast, we will demonstrate how to check out the ONOS code base and how to build it. We will also show you how to tailor your shell environment to get access to a number of shell tools, aliases and other conveniences that aim to make working with ONOS very easy. This demonstration assumes that your development environment has the required toolchain installed already. You can find this information and more on the ONOS wiki under the developer guide section. Let us start with checking out the ONOS code. We are opting to check out code directly under our home directory, but you can choose an alternate location if you wish. Once the code has been checked out, we will change our working directory to the ONOS directory. Before we build, let's source in the ONOS developer bash profile. While strictly not required, I would highly recommend doing this because it will augment your environment with path configuration and with various shell aliases and shortcuts that make working with ONOS a breeze. ONOS is built with Buck, which is a build tool developed by Facebook and which supports highly parallel and incremental builds. To build ONOS, we simply need to run the Buck build ONOS command as follows. Please note that presently, ONOS is built using a custom version of Buck that contains a number of enhancements that will be upstream to the official version over time. When building the codebase for the first time, the Buck program and the ONOS build plugins will be automatically downloaded and installed before starting the build. As you can see, the Buck build command will download any required third-party dependencies, compile and assemble all jar bundles and finally produce a distributable ONOS tar GZ file that can be used for installation. If you are invoking Buck for the very first time, the build may take a few minutes to complete. Of course, the subsequent builds will be much faster since Buck will only build the modules that have changed or those that are affected by an upstream change. Note that unlike Maven or Make, which both use timestamps, Buck uses SHA hashes to determine whether sources have changed relative to the compiled artifacts. While we are waiting for the build to complete, let's update our own bash profile to source the ONOS developer profile for all new shell sessions. Depending on what OS you are using for development, you should make your changes in either bash profile or bash aliases file. Since we are on Mac OS, we will edit our bash profile as shown. To execute ONOS tests, simply run buck test command. Note that this will run all unit tests, integration tests, as well as check style code validation. As with the build steps, buck will only execute tests for modules impacted by code changes upstream along the dependency graph. ONOS has been architected to run in a distributed configuration where multiple instances cooperate as a single cluster. However, there are times during the development when using a single ONOS instance is perfectly sufficient. This includes development of southbound providers, CLI, REST API and GUI, among others. Running ONOS locally is as easy as typing the following command buck run ONOS local. This will create a local ONOS installation in the user's temp directory and start the ONOS server in the background while displaying the ONOS log file in the foreground. To connect to the ONOS command line console, we can simply type ONOS localhost. You can connect to the ONOS GUI by typing ONOS GUI localhost or by opening the browser directly to this URL. Note that default credentials are ONOS and password rocks. Pressing Ctrl-C in the window showing the ONOS log monitor will unceremoniously stop the ONOS server as you can see by the CLI and GUI both being immediately disconnected. To import the ONOS project into IntelliJ IDE, you can use buck to generate the required project files via buck project command and after that you can simply open the ONOS source directory. Afterwards, you may need to set the project Java language to level 1.8. Hopefully you have found this screencast useful. Have a great day and happy coding.